Hi, I'm Lori Nemitz. I'm really pleased to be talking to you about what to expect when you come into Anatomy Trains Dissection Lab. I am one of our faculty members, certified teacher since 2013, and also one of our Anatomy Trains Lab Dissection Assistants. I've been lucky also to be in the Dissection Lab world since about 10 years prior to that. I've been able to learn from people like Gil Headley, Antonio Stecco, and of course in our own lab, um, Todd Garcia. And you will have lots of rich information coming in from Todd and Tom with lots of mini lectures and examples of how to do things, but also you're going to be doing the dissection. And that's really important. It's a way of really owning and learning the process in a different way. You're sent a PDF of the dissector and read it as well as print out a copy for yourself to bring with you. Um, so this is number one. I have a little mini version that I made up for myself, but you can print out whatever size you need. And then some practical things to bring. Your lab coat. <laughs> Doesn't have to be fancy. You can order online or at any medical supply store. I often recommend have a little extra room in case you're cold to layer. Um, oftentimes people wear t-shirts and a long t-shirt layer. That's great. That will help you adjust to lab. Um, and also just a pair of scrubs on the bottoms. Um, take a little bit of different pants than your normal streetwear. That's great to do as well. Closed toed shoes. Really a smart idea. We need them to again protect ourselves if anything drops in lab and keep that a uh, pair dedicated that can be in your locker during the lab time. Okay? A couple other things. Eyewear. We want you to have protective eye goggles. Can be from the hardware store or if you have a pair of reading glasses that you want to dedicate or if you wear prescription glasses that you will be leaving on the entire time. You're welcome to use that, but you do need protective eyewear. Some people like to have, again, masks and essential oils. This is optional. Um, do know that sometimes our masks actually will interfere with a little bit of vision. Um, I oftentimes will have mine down below or an essential oil on my collar. I like grapefruit. You can decide your own, that's your favorite. And then you absolutely need nitrile gloves or a different brand. If again, latex intolerant, make sure that you have a brand that works for you. Size medium tends to be the go-to for most people in lab, but to adjust for what feels comfortable for your own hand and size. That's about it of the precursors. The last thing I want you to think about is having an open mind. You're gonna see some rich information and material. Um, these are, again, bodies that have chosen to be donated for this process. And what you'll see is quite different than the classroom skeleton. You'll see real changes and differences in the anatomy, how the fascia responds and how the bones have adjusted and how the muscles have been different in these different bodies. So come with that open mind. Soon you'll really be fascinated by that whole process and this will take you deeper into your practice on every level. Look forward to seeing you soon in lab. If you have other questions, talk to us on Anatomy Trains Dissections. We have a Facebook page dedicated. And again, Anatomy Trains Dissections. Sign up for get notifications. Interact with us on there as well. See you soon. Take care.